I received an email today because I'm part of uh, change.org, which is basically a petition site to do various things, uh, you know, with human rights, animal rights, all that kind of crap. <laughs> I shouldn't say crap because I actually, you know, support the site, but today I received um, a message asking me to sign a petition, and the, uh, the subject of the message was dead dolphins. So I click on it, and it says Amazon.com has pulled uh, the sale of dolphin, porpoise, and whale meat off of its Japanese site. And uh, this person is petitioning us to sign um, this petition to send to Amazon's CEO to put a permanent ban of um, dolphin, whale, and porpoise products on the Japanese site. So basically my response to this is, fuck you, because you have no right to interfere with the Japanese culture, what Japanese people eat, how Japanese people live their lives. Um, this whale meat, this dolphin meat, this porpoise meat is attained legally, it's sold legally. All these animals are on the least concern list on the international conservation status. Everything is fine, they're bottlenose dolphins, things like that. Animals that have populations that are well capable of sustaining themselves. So, uh, I looked into this um, petition more and to see, you know, which Japanese person founded this petition. And there was a person named uh, Melissa Siegel, which is not a Japanese name, I don't think. And uh, the message text said, Melissa Siegel is in Taiji, Japan. Not Melissa Siegel is a resident of Taiji, Japan. Melissa Siegel is in Taiji, Japan. Which, of course, to me, translates to Melissa Siegel is an asshole uh, interrupting the dolphin hunt in Taiji, causing a ruckus, just like uh, a Sea Shepherd guy. I forget what his name is. But, uh, you know, the guy who was in jail for uh, attacking the um, Japanese people. So, uh, I, I go through this to see, you know, all the Japanese people who signed up to stop uh, Amazon.co.jp from selling this legal product. Uh, here's the list of people that were on the first page here. Stephanie Cummins, Hal Lester, Fox, uh, Clara Jacobson, Donna Durham, Pedro Lopez, Melanie Gregg, Frank Gannett, Judith Morales, George Clark, uh, Doris Varnstedt, uh, Dan Thompson, Sherry Abrams, Olivia Segura, uh, Abigail Volek, Vladimir Ivanov, and Leslie Reyes. Those don't sound like Japanese people to me. It sounds to me like a bunch of gaijin who do not shop on Amazon.co.jp. I'm pretty sure. You know, I shop on it, and I'm a gaijin, but I'm pretty sure that those people don't shop on Amazon.co.jp regularly. And I really don't think that they should have the right to interfere with Japanese culture, to interfere with things that are being sold legally in Japan. So I've started my own uh, petition on Change.org to reinstate the sale of these products on the Japanese Amazon website. It's really bullshit that these people who... Uh, are unaffiliated with the, who don't live in Japan, who don't even shop on this site, would have the balls to say, you can't sell this. There's uh, 1.5 billion Muslims in the world, 14 billion, uh, not 14 billion, <laughs> 1.5 billion Muslims, um, 14 million Jews in the world. So I think Amazon should stop selling pork because, you know, you're not allowed to eat pork if you're Muslim and Jewish and, uh, you know, just because the majority of Amazon customers aren't Muslim or Jewish doesn't mean that we should be allowed to buy it because apparently from this uh, petition here, the minority controls, um, you know, what can be legally sold. So that's, uh, you know, Amazon, please stop selling pork. And uh, how many how many Hindus are there? But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's uh, a lot more than these hundred uh, something people on this list who uh, got Amazon to stop selling these porpoise products, so I'm sure that, you know, we can ban beef in America, I'm pretty sure. Um, what else is there? You know, just start banning books, I'm sure. Some people don't want uh, Koran sold, some people probably don't want Bible sold. <laughs> some people probably don't want any number of other books sold. So, you know, if you're going to listen to that few people and you're going to go against the culture of the nation that you're based in, you know, just start banning everything.
like I said, it, uh, I started this petition so you could sign it and get them to reinstate this. But I said, uh, you know, Amazon.co.jp is just as many letters, just as easy to type as Rakuten.co.jp. You know, if you're not gonna, if you're supposing yourself to be a Japanese supplier, a Japanese retailer, and you're not supporting the Japanese people, then fuck you. We'll, we'll go to uh, someone who does support the Japanese people. So uh, you can head over to my site on uh, change.org and sign my petition. Uh, there's 150 million people in Japan, so I'm sure that uh, we can get a, a few people to support their own country.